So guys, welcome to Take Flow. Most importantly, welcome to my house. This is a network video. Now, hold on, before you click off it, I know I've done loads of network videos. I've just had loads of questions saying, Alex, now that the network is finished in the house, please go ahead and show us through everything from start to finish and how it's all connected. Yes, we've done loads of networking stuff on the channel, but number one, I know it's something you guys really enjoy. And number two, I did promise you a concise one video of the entire network. Now I've added a few bits to it, so let's get going. So guys, welcome to the lounge. Now, this is the first access point as you come into the house. Now, I'm not going to go over this loads because I've already done a video installing all of this, but as you can see, that is one of the in-wall pros from Ubiquiti Networks. It's an access point, it gives off Wi-Fi, it has AC, and it also has N, and it's like 1,600 meg altogether. It's a nice access point, covers this part of the house nicely, this room and above. Now, we go through to the kitchen. And these in walls, as you guys can see here, have two Ethernet ports in them, so you can then go ahead and connect another device into the access point. So let's say if you did have this thing lower down behind, let's say, a cabinet here, which had an Xbox in it or something that needed to be hardwired, it essentially acts as an Ethernet jack in the wall, as well as giving out Wi-Fi. That is why I really love those in-wall pros. Right, let's go upstairs. So as you guys can see right above my head right there, this is one of the Nano HD units from Ubiquiti Networks. It's one of their brand new access points and it is the sort of baby version of the UAP ACHD, standing for high density. These things can have a hell of a lot of users connected to them and they also provide really fast speeds, up to 160 megahertz, which is combining loads of channels into one single channel to get the fastest speeds over on the 5 gigahertz spectrum. I have this in here because, well, this is my office and right below me is the kitchen table where I sit with my laptop. So my kitchen uh, is also covered with 160 megahertz as well as the in-wall which is running at, I think, 80 megahertz. If you guys want to learn more about megahertz, I'll drop a link in the description to sort of demonstrate all of that. And as you guys can see, I've got one of these awesome unreleased covers on my HD unit and it's the, well, marble effect one. They do loads of them, but these aren't out yet. So I want to thank Ubiquiti for sending this out and really hooking me up. Guys, I appreciate it. So as you guys can see, we are now up in the loft and this is the switch that all of the access points we've talked about already the three of them, the two in-walls downstairs and the HD unit in the office, connect to essentially. So this is the Unify Switch 24 250 watts. Now if you aren't really educated in networking you'll probably think Alex a network switch yes it shares network access via an Ethernet cable to devices but why does this need to have 250 watts in it? And that's because this is a PoE switch. Now, PoE means essentially that as well as transferring data through an Ethernet cable, it can also supply power. So all of the access points in the house, all three of them, through one single Ethernet cable are receiving, well, the data to make the thing work and connect to the internet and share files and what have you and actually give out an, an SSID and a network name, as well as power the actual access point itself, which is super, super cool. You can actually log on to this switch in the software and see how much or how many watts each access point is using and how much power it's requiring and how much it is costing you to run your entire house's network. Really, really cool. So that is the 24 port switch. Now the reason I have this switch is because, well, I have lots of security cameras. So all of these black Ethernet cables here go off to all of my CCTV cameras around the house, which are all again powered by power over Ethernet. And then at the top here, at 192.168.55.1, I have my Unify Security Gateway Pro, which is essentially a fancy name for a router, or if you're in America, a router. And yes, don't tell me how to say router or router. I understand different people from different places say it differently. I live in England, I say router. I know it doesn't make sense, but that's just what we say as English people. And I apologize if I've offended anybody. So there you go. We have one single cable here that goes from the security gateway into the switch, and then one cable here which comes 
up to the, well, from the dishes actually on the roof. I get my internet from dishes on the roof so you guys can see them up there. This cable then goes up to the dishes and receives the internet signal. That goes into the security gateway, then out to the switch, yada, yada, yada. And then down here in the rest of this, we have my DS14 Play from Synology. This is my NAS and I've got about 14 terabytes of storage in here, loads of films on there. All the connected TVs and everything can access all of this and I also back up all my YouTube videos to it. And then this right here is the CloudKey Gen 2 Plus. Now this is cool, it has a little screen on it. This is actually what records all of my security cameras from Ubiquiti and also manages all of this gear. It has a central controller software which all of these things can talk to and well, off everything goes and it runs super, super seamlessly. So all of that guys, and I know as well as it looks nice to me because I'm a massive, massive, massive nerd, it's all tucked away in the loft. It's not taking up any space in any of my cupboards. Talking about cupboards, if I open this, this is one of my, I want to call them, mini switches. This is an 8-port Unify switch. Again, this is a, I think, 150 watts, so you can power different bits and bobs. So if I wanted to have another access point in this little understairs cupboard, then I could do. But as you guys can see up here, hopefully, this is a fiber optic cable. Now, this links between this switch and the main switch, providing the backhaul for this. Now, this is actually a 10 gig fiber link to this switch and then actually these purple cables go out to all three of the access points. So this is actually the switch that runs all three of the access points and eventually it will run all of this gear in here like these playstations that go up to the amplifier up there which run the TV in the master bedroom. So as you guys can see taking a leaf out of Linus Tech Tick's book with my socks and sandals on we're gonna go into the Understairs cupboard downstairs. I know I called the upstairs cupboard the understairs cupboard. Boiler room, I meant when I were upstairs. Anyway, there's a tiny little switch here, even a smaller one than the little eight port one. This is another eight port switch, but this only has four ports of them that are available to provide PoE power. Now this is linked via an ethernet cable, which goes outside of the house, is tacked up the wall, goes up into the loft, plugs into the main switch. Now this is just for anything in here, like this laptop, which runs the kitchen entertainment system and the kitchen TV and a couple of other bits that are going to end up being in here, just so we have a full on ethernet access to everything down here. And then that uncongests the Wi-Fi for things that actually need it, like laptops, tablets, and phones. And of course, all of the smart gear that I have in this house. Every single light bulb in here, in every single room essentially, has a Wi-Fi connection to one of these access points. And the access points are that good that with all of these devices connected, I get no bottlenecks or holdups or anything. But where I can, I always like to run an ethernet cable because it is the best way to connect anything to the internet. But guys, there you go. If you guys want an in-depth look at how we do the internet dishes on the roof, please feel free to let us know with a like rating and a comment down below. But that is my home network, guys, all finished. I really hope you've enjoyed the tour. If you've got anything you guys could say to us about today's video or my network, the comment section is the place for that, guys. But if you want to see our other network videos, there's some right there. You can click and watch them. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, guys, please make sure you click that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. But for now, my name's been Alex. This has been Techflow, and we will catch you in the next one.